and we have liftoff of Apollo 10. And oops, we have wobbly. Let's quick fix. Fix it. We have the technology. Hmm, I think we can pass off an explanation for this design. Hello guys, I'm Morabeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest Series 2 Part 28, Apollo 11 Kerbal Style. Yes, but first off, let's test the emergency escape system. <laughs> yes, and it appears to work great. We even simulated the rocket exploding in the distance, just in case that the Kerbals didn't make it, then they would die horrible death. And let's launch Apollo 10. But I said Apollo 11 in the title? Well, yes, every Apollo mission has to have its failures. In fact, the real Apollo missions had some really disastrous failures. Most notably, Apollo 1, which wasn't going to be labeled Apollo 1. However, once we changed the Apollo naming from 10 to 11, everything was great. Plus, we added some struts internally and we fiddled with the staging so then yes it worked then in fact Apollo 10 did take off it did in fact orbit the moon and returned safely to earth it's just Apollo 11 was the one that was designated for landing anyway we have three Kerbals with us today we have golden partner airsoft Kerman Ender Kerman and Andy Kerman these are the Kerbals who asked to be a Kerbal in the last episode, so if you want to be a Kerbal in the next episode, don't forget to add your Kerbal, type in Kerbal in your comment and add your name you want to be added, otherwise I'll use your YouTube name. And that's why Golden Partner Airsoft Kerman has a long name. <laughs> anyway, now we're taking off. We've got rid of the escape tower there because we don't need it. We're too high, the atmosphere doesn't help us. In fact, staging at this altitude is much better than using the rocket boosters away because we don't have aerodynamics to worry about pushing us against the rocket as we separate. I'm getting into orbit. I decided for this one we'll go for 150 km orbit. I've tried to design this as close to the Apollo design as possible and something just flew past us quickly there. Luckily it didn't impact us. Yeah, probably some space junk are left up in orbit. Anyway, you see here I have a 5 booster, I think, I can't remember if that was Gryffindor or something, cap the rocket. Anyway, that had a, f the first lot of engines had 5 engines to take off, then 5 for the next booster to help you boost up into the high altitudes to get into orbit. Then you had a single booster to get into orbit, in fact I don't think this one was just to get into orbit. I think this will finally get into orbit, but its main purpose was to boost it towards the moon for its moonar injection burn. Is that what it's called? Moonar, tr moonar transfer burn, I'm going to call it. And by you, perhaps I should explain why I've decided to do an Apollo mission to land it on the moon that I've done so many times. This is, in fact, to celebrate the the Apollo landing, which happened on the 20th of July, 1969. And as it's July uh, 22nd today, and it was July the 20th on Thursday, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Yes, I decided to recreate the Apollo mission. Also, the real and probably the most accurate explanation for this is that I was trying to build a single launch mission to Duna, a large rover base, by the way, someone requested by someone, and I forgot to put a Kerbal in the command. In fact, I forgot to put RCS tank uh, thrusters on the command module on the left there, so we can't dock it, we have to use the landing module to dock. Oh, you idiot, Mark. Anyway, no, the proper reason why I'm doing this is because I messed up the single launch to Duna, large rover base thingamajiggy. Yes, this happens. I mess up these things. And I was doing tutorial videos at the same time, so uh, yeah, that's why things get hairy. And sometimes I do not do things in time. And yes, I did notice that shroud there. And I didn't realize that doing a quick save and quick load would have got rid of that shroud. I would have thought they fixed that bug by now. Perhaps they know get rid of the shrouds after you undock. Normally the shrouds only disappear after you use your staging. But yeah, that's that's the problem. Oh yes, and I'm re faithfully recreating this. As in, the booster that we just got rid of has fuel in it. However, rather than use it to get into orbit around the man, we're going to let it 
go off into interstellar space. No, not interstellar, interplanetary space. Because the real Apollo 11 mission, it had its main booster that it had its self going on the way to the man. It just didn't go into orbit around the moon, didn't smash into the moon like later Apollo missions did. No, what they did was let it drift off into planetary orbit. I mean interplanetary orbit, which means that it's orbiting the sun at the moment, right now. Unless it was picked up by the moon, uh, by the Earth again, by the gravity well, because it'll be in a similar orbit to the Earth. I don't know, I haven't thought about this. And also another mess up on the way to the landing on the man. Because I forgot to be RCS thrusters on the command module. We have to use a lander for the docking and we have to transfer the fuel from the command pod to the landing pod. We have internal monopropellant tanks inside the landing module, so that's what we're gonna do anyway. And now it's time for going to the landing. Obviously this was done on television during the days in the 1960s, when television or radio was probably the most dominant source of media and newspapers were still in print. And yes, we just missed the command module there. <laughs> I think the manoeuvring thought of just this, the logistics of this landing was not thought out completely by me. However, now that our pilot Ender Kerman and Andy Kerman are coming down to his landing, we can concentrate on reducing our speed by here. Because normally about 25 kilometers up, I reduce the speed to about 500. But what I'm doing by here, I'm trying to land on the smooth parts of the man while trying to keep the curbing in our <laughs> invisibility because if I just show it, I, at the one point I find out where the sun is, we come in too close to the edge of that crater. In fact, I decide, I think that was a bit too close. Let's hover over the other way a bit. No, still too close to the edge of the crater because you can see the crater, it sort of mounds up and creates a sort of like a ridge even on the other side because the material has been pushed out, obviously. So, yeah, going sideways now. <laughs> Reduce the speed and the man and Kerbin is still in sight. Except I didn't realize that uh, that little mountain over there, that little hill over there is actually a mountain. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. Uh, Houston, come in, come in. Sorry. Come in. We have lost contact. Ah, well, bug it. Let's just go ahead and do our lunar excursions. Let's collect some rock samples. Put some <laughs> instruments on the ground, measure moon quakes that are caused by Jebediah's farts, and just do a jump there to transmit back to Kerbin. Hey guys, we've landed here, don't you know? We'll transmit all the data back when we re arrive. And I wish I was doing a ma proper mad mission here and I brought a rover with us because that those canyons in the distance look awesome to just rove around and explore. Right now that we're preparing for our return after doing all the science and everything we can, let's read out some comments. Okay, always the first one, Hex. Hex on his hero, you are the first commenter, awesome. But Didia Dalos CZ, you are not, you said first, but you're not the first, you're second. And Billy Von Weber Jensen says, hi Orb, can you try and put me on Eve? I will do, but when we go to Eve, and yes, as I said, this is a proper recreation of the Apollo 11 mission. Like we separate the landing section and just take off with this landing section, I suppose it's called, or lander can? Hmm, whatever it's called by NASA standards. Anyway, Silver Warrior, oh my God, I'm a Kerbal, yeah, 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 woo. I'm a Kerbal, yeah, I'll do everything till I die. The Kraken happens. Yes, that's what happened in the last episode. The Kraken attacked. Mr. Sleek Penguin, hi, I'm sorry I've been absent, been doing work. That's okay, because if I wasn't at work, I'd be doing a lot more episodes of Kerbal Space Program. And perhaps I'll do some shorter, more episodes of Kerbal Quest or something. I don't know yet. We'll work that. And, yeah, even though I've got a lot of Delta V on this rocket here, it seems that it's taking a lot longer because it's got... Because it has higher ISP, it's not as fast as doing what we want to do. We do finally get into a 20km orbit. And we 
after, uh, yeah, I think I launched at the wrong time. I should have waited until, because the launch took a lot longer. Should have done it a bit earlier. That means we got a close approach a lot earlier. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I wasn't planning the logistics of this mission. I just created the rocket. I was concentrating on the engineering of the rocket itself. Anyway, Diver 0218. Hi, Orb. I have an idea for a Kerbal Quest video. You could try to build an artificial gravity ring in space, I assume you mean. I mean build a ring, yes. And rotate it until a Kerbal can walk. I don't think Kerbals will walk on that, but I have seen someone doing hock gaming, namely create a rover which rovers around this gravity ring after rotating it. Or did he just drive the rover on it without rotating it? Yeah, I can't remember. The, there were some bugs in the game of the day which he had to do, cleverly go around, like get into geostationary orbit to get the surface speed down to zero. But yeah, in the modern day version, in version 1.3, we are at the moment, with version 1.3.1 coming out soon, hopefully, when all the bugs have been smashed. I'll make give that a go soon. From Chris, uh, Christian, we go switch knig. <laughs> hey, hey, Heavy Metal is back. You know he plays around with the ring stations. And boosters look like great mushrooms next to the KFC. Yes, that was my reusable rocket attempt. Ender animation. Hey, Ker Kerbal. Ender Kerman. Oh, and by the way, can you give me a shout out? There you go. Done. <laughs> or, or quote. Or maybe the quote of the day. Oh, balls. Yes, I seem to say that a lot when I'm doing these videos and I miss say something and I think, oh, what am I supposed to say here? Oh, balls. And that's what I do. And now we're coming in for a return of Kerbin. Let's detach the landed can so it burns up in the atmosphere. And then when we get closer, we can detach the command module so we can reveal a heat shield to return safely. Those pods, those, <laughs> the other rockets will explode in the distance while we turn safely. I have to note that it took me three rotations around Kirby. I didn't plan this properly. I was at 50 kilometers. I should have done 30 kilometers in the atmosphere. That would have slowed me down enough for a proper re-entry. But it took three skips in the atmosphere before we entered um, for a proper landing. <laughs> Anyway, Orkra Flock Venzer, another large comet, so I'm going to break it down a bit. That's some great reusability. But then another, again, landing with water is hard. Yes, water landings are a lot harder than land landings, tell you. And we have to, all right, everyone, pinch in some money to send Orb to piloting school. We need to teach him to land as soon as possible. Oh, uh, yes, we have to. Especially space planes. She knows what I'm talking about. By the way, if you want to join me, I've got a Discord server. We chat now and again, normally when I can, not in work, and when I can. I'm the football gamer. Orb, I'm still watching. I've been a little late because I'm 10 today. Well, happy birthday to you. I'm 37. Soon. Here. Yeah. And from Rev Z, where in Wales are you from? I'm from Aberwythseth. And I can't say it properly, even though I'm Welsh. If you like the video, anyway, crank the like button. I'm from near the Bridgendary. I will not give precise location away. This is my secret lair. Anyway, I'm Orbator. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Who's Welsh? I don't see in the next video.